This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Okay. You don't have to have it. They do highly encourage that you get it. You do get a higher smile. You get a higher hourly rate. And you get a bonus for taking a hazmat load when it's available. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at FST Logistics out of Columbus, Ohio. When I used to drive for JR Shrugel, I used to pass their trucks and trailers every day. They are a refrigerated logistics company and they do LTL freight. The benefits of LTL freight jobs with them is brand new 22 to 23 freight liners. They have a safety bonus, 5% of the gross pay, $1,000 hazmat sign on bonus. Now, hazmat is not a big deal for them, but if you have it, you get an extra $1,000. You get PTO on day very one with a three weeks per year to start seven or eight paid holidays now make sure you find out how they pay for the holidays is that when you driving on the holidays or you actually get paid on a holiday if you're off all right affordable medical dental and vision insurance plans they are a esop company means that you can vest in the company after a couple of years 401k no cost life insurance and if you're good at what you do and if you like the company why don't you go ahead and refer the company because you can get an extra cool 25k per person if fst interests you stay tuned Where are you guys located at? We're out of Columbus, Ohio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm out of Cleveland. So if I'm interested in coming in for orientation, uh, would you guys uh, provide my transportation down there or would I have to drive down there myself? Um, we can. Most people that live that close prefer to have their car in the yard um, because if you take the truck home, um, even if you're off duty, you are still responsible for the load. We do reefer freight, so you would have to check that reefer every two hours. But we are able to take the truck home, though, right? Yeah, but you are responsible for the load if you take the truck home. Okay, so even on our uh, on our days off, uh, we'll be uh, with a load. You're still responsible for the load, so you right. will have to check that reefer every two hours. But uh, what I'm what I'm asking is, is that when we do go on our days off, we will be assigned a load to deliver that load uh, when we come back on, right? More than likely, yes. How much experience you guys require? You have to have a year experience, okay. verifiable experience. How much experience do you have? Eight. I have eight. Eight years? Yes. Oh. Okay. And why are you looking to make a change from where you are? Hold on. Now, that is a very good question. Let me just stop right here where I'm editing because, as I said in the intro, this call right here really took a turn for real, for real. But that was a good question that she asked to always do your research, whatever the case whatever the reason if it's if you have any issues with your current job and you just say to yourself hey it's time for me to go then you're going to pick up and go but before you leave you're going to check out other companies first again like i said that was a good question for this young lady to ask just to see what other companies have available out there um Pre-employment drug screening, uh, hair, follicles, urine, or both? Urine. Uh, do you guys accept mm -hmm. SAP drivers? No, we do not. So this will be regional, uh, I'm assuming. Would, it, would, would this be regional for me if I uh, live in the Cleveland area and work out, uh, work out of the Columbus terminal? Would this be regional? Would I be able to get home every week? 
So most of our freight leaves out over the weekend. Normally you're back to the yard by Thursday. We have what we call a second turn at the end of the week. If you do that, you're still normally back by Friday, but it gives you extra money. Uh, do you guys run Canada? No, we do not. What's the mileage pay? Well, we do LTL. Are you familiar with LTL? Yep. So we have a mileage-based pay plus activity-based pay. Okay. So um, do you have your hazmat? Okay. You don't have to have it. They do highly encourage that you get it. You do get a higher sense of mile. You get a higher hourly rate. And you get a bonus for taking a hazmat load when it's available. Um, so you would start out at $0.54 cents per mile. Like I said, it's not about miles with us, so we have our activity-based pay. So after your first stop, you can pay $25 for each stop after. Detention on our freight starts after an hour, and then you're paid $20 an hour. So with everything added in, most of the drivers are averaging about $1,400 to $1,700 gross weekly. We get our settlements every week? Yes. Uh now you say fifty four cent. Is that is that based on just what you guys offering coming in, or is there more with experience? That's just our base pay. Okay, okay. That's what everybody starting with our company makes. Uh, what kind of equipment that you guys off or have, and what are the trucks governing that? I'm seeing newer Freightliner Cascadias, so 2020s, 2022s, and 2023s. Um, they are equipped with a refrigerator, APU unit, inverter, free satellite TV, free Sirius XM radio. The 2022s and 2023s have heated and cooling seats, um, and they all have chrome wheels. And they're governed at 72. Okay. Uh, does your trucks have cameras in them? Outward-facing cameras. Awesome. Uh, what about the benefits and when do they start? Full range of benefits after 90 days for medical, dental, vision. What's unique about our company is that we are an ESOP. So we are employee owned. So you would be given stock in the company. Right now we're a smaller company, slowly growing. And as we grow, that stock will just go up. And that's free money for you. You put nothing into it. When will we be able to, you know, partake in it? Like right off the rip, or is there like a, a like after a, a year you're twenty percent invested, all the way up to six years when you're a hundred percent invested. Pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my grandkid? Uh, they have to be over the age of sixteen, and you have to wait ninety days. Pets, you can have one pet after ninety days, and um, they have to be under a hundred pounds, and it is a two hundred fifty dollar non refundable fee. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys have team opportunities there or no? No, it doesn't make sense with our freight. All right. Uh, you guys offer any type of sign-on bonus? Yeah, $2,500 paid out over six months. All right. All right. Um, okay. All right. Um, sounds good. Hold on. So at this point of the call right here, um, she kind of threw me off with uh, well, how they pay out. Okay, so in the midst of that, she was explaining about that her drivers are making at least a dollar a mile. And I kind of questioned that being that the starting rate is 54 cent a mile. But I'll let her explain and then I'll come back. Yeah, well, it's not about miles. Yeah, you have to compare apples to apples. So most of my drivers are averaging over a dollar per mile. Over a dollar per mile at 54 cent? Yeah, because of our activity-based pay. So you have to add it all together. Okay. Because we do LTL. So you have to compare apples to apples. Hold on. All right. So let's compare apples to apples because I do. <laughs> I do LTL freight. I know what LTL freight is all about. A lot of new drivers may not understand that, but let me break it down for you. LTL freight is less than truckload freight, meaning that the trailer is 53 feet, right? 
each square foot of the trailer, individual clients pay for space on the trailer, which in tunes means that for the driver, we will have multiple stops on our route. Depending on what's in the trailer versus per load, per load, we can have anywhere between two stops, three stops. Uh, at one point, I had five stops on a trailer, meaning that five individual clients paid for space on the trailer. Okay, so that's what LTL Freight is. And when she means by apples to apples, oranges to oranges, basically we get paid not only the miles that we drive but we get paid by each stop that we do the first stop is not included in the stops that we do so basically the first stop is free so if you are on a five stopper the first stop is free the four stops you actually get paid for anywhere between i don't know <laughs> okay because companies are different on how they pay you out okay but basically that's what she's trying to explain what she's trying to do is trying to ball all of that into one and then turn around and say okay our drivers is averaging this amount per mile i myself don't do it that way because what you're trying to do you're trying to put all the incentives all the stops all of the tension pay all of the all, all of the layover pay all and and try to sweeten the pot as far as what you make per mile the brass task of it is is that it's 54 cent per mile so let's say you'd only get one stop it's only 54 cent per mile if you get five stops, it's 54 cent per mile. If you go through a way station and get a good clean inspection, you get paid for that, but you still get paid 54 cent per mile. Okay, that's what it is. Everything is not gonna work in that favor every week. So trying to ball everything up into one nice little package, it don't work with me. Just let me know how much I'm making per mile. It's like how they break down the, the, the per diem. Oh, well, you get 60 cent per mile, but the per diem is 20 cent. So your base pay is 40. Break it down to me that way. Well, no, 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 no. I, I understand you because I do LTL free. But what I'm saying is, yeah. what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is 54 cent base. 14 to 17. Yeah, 14 to 17. Sure. The base, the base pay. Yeah, is then a I don't know why low. you're looking. Okay. I mean, what? I'm, I, I can't see what's out there. Yeah, there's not companies that are paying that much. Well, that's, that's, be a company driver. that's, that's understandable. But I mean, I can't, I, I can't see what's out there though. I mean, you know, there probably might be companies Yeah, I'm not out. saying you can't, but I talk to a lot of recruiters and we are they are not paying that much. That's why I talk to the recruiters, you know, just to see what's mm -hmm. out there. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, um all right. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. You have a great day. You too now. All right, everybody. FST, everybody. <laughs> Out of Columbus, Ohio. If you are in the Ohio area or the Columbus area or the Cleveland area, for that matter, FST is out in Columbus looking for you. Now, just to let you know right off the rip, this is a LTL. Uh, and if you don't know what LTL is, it's... Uh, less than truckload meaning that you'll be taking multiple loads to different stops all right uh as she said uh the pay for this is 54 cent a mile she says that drivers there are averaging a dollar a mile i kind of question that considering the fact that 54 cent a mile is their base pay coming in to the company regardless of your experience 
Now, if you want to add up all the Osorio stuff that goes on that's added into your pay, then yes, you get paid for multiple loads if there's multiple loads on the truck. Okay, that's how you get paid. And everything adds up to like the total that you would get for the week. And she says that the drivers, of course, are averaging about fourteen to seventeen hundred dollars a week. Uh they don't accept SAP drivers. Sorry about that, SAP guys, but they do have brand new equipment from 2022s to 2023s. They got quarterly bonuses, $1,000 hazmat sign-on bonus. If you have your hazmat, which is encouraged, uh, you get paid, of course, the eight holidays. They got affordable dental that starts after 30 days. And this is an ESOP company, which after a year, you're 20% vested. After six years, you're 100% vested. Additional money coming to you if you're vested for that long. You would get home every week, depending on how you get home. Now, if you take the trucks home, you will eventually be up under a load. You will be responsible for that load, meaning that you had to go and check the uh the reefer unit every two hours she says so if you're out of columbus i guess you know like if you're out of columbus that will probably be easy for you but for anybody else such as myself that's out of cleveland you know you literally have to get up like three hours to drive back to the terminal i guess so it's a trade-off you know do you want to check the reefer every two hours on your on your home time or do you just want to just drive the three hours there and three hours back you know once a week drivers what do you think of that call would you like to give fst a chance if so the information would be in the description below all right drivers if you drove for fst or drive for fst let us know of your experience with the company is it a good company is it a bad company let us know in the comments below i am lockout men and this is the mtc on the recruiter called channel if you guys like to get your suggestions in for any reviews that you like for us to do, let us know. You can get at us three ways. Hit us up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Man Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Or you can get at us in the comment section as always. And if you like to support the call, you can do that with the Cash App, Dollar Sign Lockout Man, and let us know who would you like for us to review. All right, until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, 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 next,